Lenovo S20. Pretty old system, but I still find it to be very useful. Um, until recently, I was using this as my backup system, not to back up my computers. I have a server for that. Um, I was using it as a backup for my main computer and that uh, everything I had on my main computer was also on here. I kept basically all the same programs and all of the files. So one of the ways I do that is I have something that I always name E drive and it's the letter E on each system. Um, I use it to keep all of my files so that if I go from computer A to computer B, I have everything It's all in the same place, all works exactly the same. So it's a bit overkill for a lot of people, but because I use it for business, it's always nice to have that backup. And I have actually, over the course of many years, used it a couple of times. So more than paid for the system. Now, a lot of people think, well, that's too much trouble. It's a lot of trouble, extra expense, everything to keep this system updated. Well, it's actually not that much trouble because I use a program to do the backups over a network. So all the files from my main computer move to this computer every day um, from you are using a backup utility. So it's really easy to set up. You don't have to think about it, set it, forget it, it's done. So all you have to do is just make sure that you fire this puppy up once in a while, nightly as best, and just go get yourself some tea or eat dinner or whatever and let it do its thing. So you don't have to go in and you know tell it what to do. It just starts backing up. So, um, it's got an old graphics card in it. It's a GTX 560. Really old graphics card, very power hungry. Um, it's just not a very good graphics card. Um, I'm gonna upgrade it slightly. I'm gonna put in a GTX 960. Now, you could put a 1060 in this easy, but the problem is that at some point you start having bottlenecking with your CPU and there's also the expense. Graphics cards are not cheap right now so I'm taking the graphics card out of another system that I upgraded and just I'm going to use that 960 in here. Um, for the purposes of a, a backup system it would be great and for now what would be like <laughs> it's going to be like my fourth fourth option so for our fourth option it's way good so we're just going to do that i got a lot of computers i enjoy working on them um have three lenovo s20s older then i have three lenovo or two lenovo s30s and those are really good they have an upgraded cpu and they're one of them is running a RTX 3060, and the other one's going to be running an RTX 2060. So very good computers can do, you know, everything that I need to do. And that's one of the biggest considerations when you're building a computer. This computer right here would probably be enough for anyone that's not gaming. If you're not doing any kind of serious gaming, this is more than what you need and it's a very solid very well made and powerful enough to do anything that you need to do short of um, heavy gaming so that's a big consideration what are you going to do with your computer um, if you're not doing gaming and a lot of older folks like me I'm just not much of a gamer um, the only game I play very very rarely um, it doesn't even hardly use any GPU and it's just not a very intensive game so building a very expensive system to game on us uh, play a game that doesn't need that it's such a waste um, so we're going to go ahead and get on with this it's a pretty short video because 
we're not doing very much. Um, I have done a lot to this computer since I got it. It was pretty <laughs> bare bones when I got it. And I'll show you some of the things I did. Um, let's fire up the other camera. My phone. So, let you get a look here. Okay, there you go. One of these days I'll get a second camera that works a little better, but I kind of like using my phone. So, one thing you'll see is the cases are very easy to open. Just pull that, pop it up. Um, you look inside, you're going to see a very well-made system. It has six memory slots, um, three drive bays, or even numbered. It's, it's, it's great. Um, I have um, two DVD players in here because I do use this sometimes to clone DVDs. Um, I send copies of some of the stuff to my sister. Um, don't really do that much anymore. Now I'm just copy a drive and send that to her um, with backups of stuff. So I have an off-site backup there. I have an off-site backup on, on line storage. I um, have my pictures in the cloud and I have them on my server. So a little bit overkill, but if it's important to you, don't just have a single backup. You want to have multiple backups and it's it, that's a truly fail safe so I put in an extra drive or DVD drive I also put in an SSD it's just kind of hanging there but yeah it works fine um, I also put in three hard drives so I have uh, one terabyte, which is kind of, I always have my E drive that I spoke of earlier on a one terabyte. Um, years and years ago, it was on a 500 gigabyte, but now they're all on one terabyte in every system. Um, but I also have the four terabyte drives to hold a little bit more stuff. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing I did to this system. Um, well, two more things. One, I added a, a SATA card in here to give me more um, SATA connections. So that's another thing I did. And another thing I did was I used the second. This has two PCIe X16 slots which is great. You could run two cards if you want. Not much use in that these days. But that second slot is a perfect place to put a NVMe drive. So I have an M2 NVMe drive, 500 gigabyte um, crucial in there. And so what I do is I install all of my programs on that drive and that frees up the Samsung SSD to just handle the operating system it improves performance slightly it's probably not you know that much but hey i like it so there you go um the cpu was a pretty old four core eight thread that was upgraded to a uh, six core 12 thread not the fastest cpu you ever saw but it's fast enough to handle just about anything the average person would do. Not a great gaming CPU, but just about anything else, it's, it's more than adequate. So here's one more thing that's really great about these Lenovo S20s is you have a six pin and an eight pin for power supply for your graphics cards. Uh, the graphics card I'm using today is only going to require a single six pin. But th this old, ancient 560 
required two sixpence. So we have that. So we're going to get rid of that. Pull that out. I don't know if we'll keep that or put it online for sale or whatever. Somebody might still want it. And we're going to drop in. No, not that one. We're going to drop in this one. So it's an EVGA GeForce GTX 960 FTW. It's a pretty decent graphics card. It's got an 8 pin connector. It's a little more heavy duty than the 960 I pulled out of the other system. I was going to use this one, but I think I'm just going to use this one. So nice graphics card for this system. It's a good match for the CPU. Um, you can go online and they have a website that allows you to check whether or not your graphics card is going to be CPU bound. Now, whether or not it's going to be CPU bound depends on more than just the graphics card itself and the CPU. It depends on what you're going to do with them. So, um, it offers you options where you can enter you know those different things that you might be doing with them and it'll tell you you know if you're like doing video rendering or um if you're yeah move these cables if you're doing video rendering there's less chance that the graphics card is going to be cpu bound and i could actually probably use a 1060 in this case and it wouldn't be cpu bound because that's a very graphics card intensive um thing and whereas playing games using the same graphics card a 1060 would certainly be cpu bound so, something to think about. You don't want to pay more for a graphics card than you need. Um, you're putting a, a graphics card in there that is not going to be fully utilized. And in many cases, it will also be power hungry, which means it's going to use more power and produce more heat. And you're just not going to see the benefits of that. So, try to match it get a CPU that matches I mean get a graphics card that matches your CPU just makes sense so this one requires an 8 pin so we've got a 6 plus 2 here so we're going to pop that in there There we go. We got the six in. Plus two. Now this system has a really good stock power supply. Um, it's a 625 watt. 80 plus bronze so not the best in the world but very good so it's a high quality power supply so there you go we got it all hooked up there um i may come back in with some longer cables here later but that's it um it's a good system as i said i've been very happy with it pick them up on eBay or um, some other sites um, very cheap and a little bit of um, memory upgrade sometimes an SSD graphics card you're gonna have a good solid system that can last many years and do just about anything 
you want, as I mentioned, except, you know, high end game. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to be good for that. So, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to keep doing these videos. I have quite a few more systems where I'm going to be putting in the different graphics cards. So, I've um, got another 960, got a 1060. Uh, got a couple more 1060s here to go in other systems. Um, and we're going to build a mid level gaming system using a 2060. So that's also going to be an S30, not this S20. The other system is going to be an S30. I just finished building an S30 with a 3060, and that one has 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I believe it has 16 terabytes of hard drives in it and it has a, also the 500 gigabyte crucial NVMe and it has a Samsung Pro 500 gigabyte SSD. It's, it's a really good system. Um, so looking forward to finish setting that one up and that's going to be a video editing system so this one is just going to remain a backup but it's a solid backup well thanks for watching like subscribe to the channel and see some more of our videos we're going to finish up our series of upgrades to my business computers and my daughter's gaming computers and then we're going to move on to some other topics um, to do to, that has to do with computers and tech um, mostly to do with the same thing as this building a computer that matches your needs without breaking the bank so have a great day thanks for watching